Hello. Wakey, wakey, Nathan. What? I'm, I'm up. Answer your doorbell going out of Baston then? Yeah, I was in the shower. Yeah, right. Look, just get down here. I need a coffee. Alright, I'll be down in a bit. <laughs> What? Nothing. Jesus, what time did you get in last night? No idea. Did I get in a fight? I don't know, I left before the stag. Mm. Either that or a head by the curb. Well, I wouldn't put either in the unlikely column, given the amount you were drinking last night. Gotta do something to keep a fatal attack of tedium. Which is where this guy comes in. This arsehole again. That doesn't show anything. All that proves is a mentalist concern. Doesn't mean there's a guy dressed up as a little bird running around trying to save business women from muggers and <coughs> changing ties for pregnant women. Cough up. Double or nothing. If it turns out it's a man in orange trousers, I win. And if there really is a guy dressing up, running around trying to save the town from the practically non existent criminal underworld, then I owe you 20. I think you need a new flint. Can I have some flints, please? No paper? No. The photo is taken by an amateur photographer and matches the description of the much discussed Sparrow of Forest Spa. Allegedly taken on Thursday night, the photo appears to show the masked crime fighter on patrol in the town. The crime fighter, who was first reported three weeks ago today, has captured the attention of the world's media and shone a spotlight on the town hitherto more famous for its picturesque streets, tea shops and floral displays. In that time, no less than 14 remarkable acts have been attributed to the Sparrow ranging from humble tyre changing to thwarting a drill robbery. To date, however, no one who has had direct contact with the hero has been available for interview. And then it has a number offering a reward to anyone who can name him and asking if, you can, if you've seen him. Sounds pretty real to me. Can you really trust a broad who uses less instead of fewer? Oh, just going to shave another five minutes off your life? Like me. Hi, yes, I'm talking to local people about the sparrow phenomenon. Any chance I can get your reaction? Oh, I tell you that's a good idea. Oh, come on, you must have an opinion. It's not a popular one. Oh, it'll only take a second. And plus, it's good to get another point of view. I don't think he's real. Happy. Would you um, maybe care expanding on this? I don't think he's real. The sparrow. I think he's just an ordinary guy dressing up for some reason. Fun, attention. Sexual thrills. <laughs> well, he does seem popular with quite a few people. Or what? Dressing like a tit. Like a sparrow. Do you think he fulfills some need for the community? Maybe. Look, I don't have a problem with him. It's just a bit unhealthy, you know? It's like Father Christmas. It's fun to pretend. This is the real world. And besides, this town's like, what, the eighth lowest crime figures in the country? Get somewhere where you need it, if nothing else. And cut. Good. I don't really think the editor's going to go for it, but it's good to have the representative selection. <laughs> Look, mate, if it's any uh, consolation to you, I've been trying to get interviews with anyone who's had contact with him. All of the contact details of the addresses have been old or out of date anyway, so um, come on. Oh, excuse me. 